Oh. Wow. I'm so tired. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. No. I've purchased some pillows, seems like. Pillows. Cool. <sighs> yeah. That's nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Wow, here it is. The Rodek MX. 3000 <laughs> Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Wow. <sighs> I don't like this sound. Hmm. Anyways, check this out. Wow! This is the last and probably... Oh, wait a minute. This is the last and probably the best Rodek mixer ever built. This company here stopped production in the uh, in winter 2015. So this is the last and best model ever. You might know the Rodek MX 180 but this is the more modern version and I'm loving it. Wow. Wow. This is amazing. And it's so clean. Mm. Awesome. Look at this. Gold plated Neutrik XLR connectors. Gold plated RCA chinch connectors and so many inputs. Look at this. Phono, line, line, line. Oh, there's a record output. I'm going to flip it upside down. But I need something to protect the knobs. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Do we have to open up these screws here? And the complete cover will come off. Let's see. Potsy drive. Google this. This is very important. You need to know the difference between Potsy drive and Philips. Mm, no. Mm. 
Let me in. Please. Oh no. That's evil. And the screw is here. This is annoying. I have to remove the complete panel here, including all fader knobs. So let's go. The new price of this mixer actually is 2200 euros. It's one of the best mixers and it's one of the most expensive ones. Wow! Woo. This is amazing! Look at this! Wow! Whew. I'll do some close-ups. Burns, slider, fader. A lot of them. Input board. A lot of them. Nice routing. I like it. Ooh. That's nice. Look at the alp spots. Mm. Wow. This is amazing, really. This is for an extension board, I guess. These boards are quite the same. This one is slightly different. No, it's not slightly different. Look, here are no parts and this one is populated. DC converter? No, a little transformer. Other than that, it's pretty much the same board. Here is a voltage regulator board. Wiring. Mechanical mounting. A little power supply. Nice. Nishikon caps. Awesome. Everything fine. Panasonic Matsushita. Here is the little M for Matsushita. So this is basically a Panasonic cap. Another board down here. Hmm. Oh. Yageo caps. Okay. <sighs> wow. A lot of business going on here. Oh, this almost, almost, almost shorted out here. I really like this mixer. I really, really like this mixer. Hmm. Analog devices. Wonderful. Everything nice. Here is a big Alps X fader. And of course, Alps. No. Pro fader. Tokyo. Wait a minute. Ah, look. 
Der Fader hier ist loose. Hmm. Why? This and I believe this screw was falling out of the mixer. Anyways, isn't it beautiful? Wow! And it's in very good condition. I'm loving it. Here is a little USB deck, digital analog converter. It also is an analog to digital converter, I guess. So basically, it's a sound card, really. It can do playback and record. Yes. Wonderful. I don't expect too much from this board. Sure enough, it has not 32 bits and 192 kilohertz or something else. It probably has only 16 bits or 18 bits, but that's still fine. This one is the loose fader. Look, this screw is not mounted too. So this was the problem. I'll put it back together now and then, yeah, that's it. I've double checked all screws. They are all fine now. These faders only control the uh, amplification of the op amp. So there is no signal running through these faders. Also, Rodek offers uh, as an option uh, optical faders. This is a very interesting thing. I will show you a photo here. So they have no electrical slider, everything fine. Beautiful. I thought this is stainless steel because this would make sense. So I thought this is probably stainless steel, but it's aluminium. Clearly. You can hear it and you can see it. And you can replace it if it's in bad shape. Rodex stopped the production of these wonderful mixers because they can't compete with the uh, Chinese market. But they are still offering these uh, spare parts for years. At least this is what they are promising right now. At Rodex spare parts are extremely cheap. So... I don't think this would make any sense for a longer period of time. Maybe they will rise the, the costs for their spare parts or they will stop offering them, who knows.